The city's rental assistance programs will close to applicants tomorrow. It's funded through federal COVID dollars. Yeah, and as our Gladys Bautista explains, the two women uh, from city offices designated to distribute the money say the demand is still high, even as the dollars dwindle. After two years of navigating the unprecedented circumstances of COVID-19, the Metro's pandemic rental assistance program is coming to an end. It's actually really heartbreaking. So I believe that this pandemic has affected people in ways that some people will never understand. Marilyn Harris is the director of Develop Louisville, which is part of the city's Office of Housing and Community Development. She says the city's rental assistance programs, which used federal CARES Act funding, brought down evictions in the city by over 60%. Harris explains with over $103 million distributed so far, there's only a small fraction remaining. We've got maybe seven, eight million dollars that haven't been processed yet that we are in the process of taking care of. And those with applications already submitted take priority. Cassandra Miller is the manager of all of the city's neighborhood place sites and works to get help to whoever's rental assistance application comes across her desk. The need is ever so present. Um, you know, we started this back in March of 2020. All the way up until tomorrow, we still have a tremendous amount of people in the pipeline that we'll, we'll work through. The good news is that they're still funding for all of those people that are waiting. She encourages anyone still needing help to request it now as the deadline is Thursday. If you have an eviction court date and you have not yet filed an application, you need to go online tonight and file that eviction, that packet, that application. It is super simple to do. File it so you're in the system so that when we close it down, your application is in that system and we can get you assistance. And after helping over 40,000 Louisvillians keep a roof over their head, both say they will continue their work. I don't want our whole community to get in a state of panic because there's, there still are some safety nets um, to help people. Reporting in Louisville. Gladys Bautista, WLKY News. Gladys, thank you. Harris says there is work being done now to develop a pilot program to do a form of mediation between landlords and tenants before they file an eviction. She explains if it's successful, they plan on going to Metro Council to ask for funding.